Hi everybody, Robin here again from uh, Toadstool Tarot. Uh, I just thought I would show you one of the new releases from Debray. Um, they're known for the original tarot, which is a slightly altered color version of the Rider Waite Smith deck on a linen stock with the lovely guidebook. Um, they've done some decks recently of which this is one the tarot of the nile this is an egyptian themed deck i don't usually buy egyptian decks but this one intrigued me i found it on amazon it was uh about 20 bucks which is a great price it's was enticing um made in china um debray that's the logo there their uh, company is uh located in uh, North Carolina. You can visit their website, www.debray.com. And um, yeah, so this comes in a tuck box. And um, the thing that I'm most impressed about with Debray products is their little white book. Um, it's not your typical little flimsy pamphlet. It's a fully uh, bound little book with full color pictures of all the cards in it and uh, full size for the majors and a uh, two to a page smaller ones for the minors. Um, and oh, a sentence or two uh, description of each of the cards um to help you um interpret them in the briefest way but it's it's helpful it's a helpful little guide particularly for like beginners or people that don't really want to invest much time in learning they have a quick reference book here and maybe a good way to start now this deck um is particularly good in following the um the Rider Waite system, even though it's Egyptian themed, you'll see all the cards are very easy to read if you know the Rider Waite system. Uh, the deck is a little thicker than average. I think I think the cards are typical. Well, yeah, they're almost exactly um, tarot. Uh, usual tarot card size. It's linen stock. It has a bit of a sheen to it. They are laminated linen. Uh, the backs are beautiful. Actually, all the colors in this deck, the color palette is wonderful. The uh, deck is divided into um, five themed colors for the majors and the four minors. The backs, you have this lovely orange green and black scarab design the um, cards have black borders and we'll just do a quick walk through here you have the fool they all have this lovely kind of uh, floral pattern around them and the images are almost a little crude, but that's the kind of very much in keeping with the with Egyptian hieroglyph uh, images. One thing I'm not um, entirely happy about is um, I went to the website and apparently there are four or five different artists on staff there, but they don't give the artists any credit on the box. So, I mean, this book says compiled by Brian Wenger from, uh, based on the pictorial key to the tarot by Arthur Edward Waite. It's based on that, but I think that the information has been rewritten. It's easier for me to follow and, and understand than anything I picked up from Waite's um, book. Here we have The Magician. The High Priestess, the Empress, the 
the emperor. I haven't seen any other Egyptian decks that I enjoyed as much as I enjoy the images in these and the Hierophant. Um, the positions might be a little different, but it's very easy to see where they correspond to the Rider Waite cards. The Lovers, the Chariot. You've got the two sphinxes. This is a very different pose than we're used to. Strength. A gentle strength card. The Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man, hanging from a desert palm, Death. I was sort of surprised that they didn't have uh, um, Anubis, I think, I believe he's the god of the dead, jackal-headed figure, instead of a skeleton here, but they still have the jackal. Temperance. The Devil, I do like the coloring in this deck, the tower, it's sort of an exploding pyramid, the star, these are almost like a modern take on, um, um, Egyptian images, somewhat in the same way that uh, Madame Cleo's uh, deck, or Miss Cleo, has an Egyptian-themed deck, but these seem less cartoony in a way, a little more stylized. I, I like these better. The sun. The sun here is riding a bull, which is a little different. And here on Judgment, we have mummies in their coffins. The world. They've changed the gender on some of the figures, which is interesting to me. I'm not thrilled. That the illustrator um, actually is not very good, I don't think, at managing cloud forms. The clouds look rather doughy and not and heavy rather than, you know, clouds usually appear, but that's just a minor, minor complaint. You see here now in the pentacles how we have um, a red border. So did I show the... Oh, that was the ace of pentacles, okay. See? These have all the same symbols of the Rider Waite Smith deck. They're just slightly arranged differently in terms of perspective. It seems like the artists really wanted to keep with that system, make it very recognizable, and simply adopt a new color scheme and figures that seem to emulate um, Egyptian characters and poses. I also like that we have a range of skin tones in this deck. It's it's done in a very matter of fact manner, which I like, which which uh, works really well, I think, and doesn't smack at all of any sort of tokenism. It's just very matter of fact.
Here we've got the cups with a sort of a bluish green border. Obviously, you've seen there's some nudity in the deck, if that bothers you. I probably should have said something earlier, but... I think this deck is really fun and really pretty, and such a different color palette than I've seen in any other deck, I think. Look at this Ten of Cups. There's still a rainbow, but there's a lot of bluish green in it. Ace of Swords, sort of a brownish border. I wasn't able, I ordered this from Amazon US. I didn't find it on Amazon UK. Um, I didn't check Canada. You can check your local um, Amazon or perhaps you can order through Amazon US. I have ordered things from other Amazons in different countries um, without much difficulty. So if you're outside the US, maybe just go online to Amazon US and see if you can place an order. I forgot to talk about the cardstock. Uh, besides it being uh, laminated and semi-gloss, well, it's not really semi-gloss. Um, these are thick cards. Um, little, uh, uh, a few cards thicker than the average deck. They're uh, nice, a nice weight, I think, for handling, for shuffling. Now we have the wands, and it looks like this is a sort of a charcoal black border. We've got these sort of crooks instead of wands. Here you have that celebration under the four wands. See all the images and the struggle with the five of wands. They even put in the little little wreath here in the six of wands for that little celebration, the victory. So if you know you're a Rider weight system, I don't think you'd have any trouble at all reading this deck with or without a guide. Ten of wands. So I really like this deck. I like black borders. I love the back design. That was the first thing that drew me in, the ornate quality of this, this design on the back. The 
introduction. There's like a, a two sentence history of tarot. <laughs> And a five sentence introduction to the deck, and then three card spread, some tips, major arcana. Let me just show you since we've done this very quickly. The Fool. The Fool is a naive, optimistic, and carefree character. He represents the earliest stages of life or the infancy of a new life phase. The fool still has challenges yet to come, as indicated by the mountains in the background, but he doesn't worry about them. The fool encourages curiosity and an open mind. There's great potential and opportunity, so the best thing to do is go with your gut. That's it for the fool. But, you know, it, it pretty much sums up the fool. And that's the way all of these little little readings are. Okay, be back soon with another deck walkthrough and review. Bye.